Well, everyone's entitled to a bad day, aren't they? I'm just being realistic about yesterday. I always knew you were a lying, unscrupulous creep. Why should I be surprised when you remind me of the fact? What are we doing here? Returning to the scene of the crime? Well, I figured after yesterday, you deserved a token of my affection. The horse. It's yours. You can decide for yourself which part of its anatomy I remind you of. Isn't that the horse you gave Stephanie? Well, it's yours now. Whatever you thought last night, you were wrong. Replace one lie with a bigger one. No, I'm not in the business of raising ghosts. I don't want to lose you. He's a thoroughbred. You two should have a lot in common. What are they doing here? Dr. Marshall's agreed to let Tara's pride be put into training. Stephanie's gift from His Royal Highness. Dan, Jessica, you're looking well. We were just leaving. I see she swept you off your feet, Dan. I take it you're no longer in mourning. I don't think we need to listen to this. Jilly, one day you'll get what you deserve. I hope I'm there to see it. Oh, we don't have to worry about your future, darling. Dan's always been a pushover for women with scars. <laughs> I thought you were mad with me. Dan and Jessica. Proof enough that Stephanie's dead? If she were alive, she'd never allow that to happen. I can't argue with that. I like your gift, Jake. I think I'll call him revenge. <laughs> Seems appropriate, don't you think? What were your hobbies when you were small, hmm? Pulling the wings off moths? Butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> you still haven't told me. Am I forgiven? You've got a lot of ground to make up. I'm prepared to be humble. We could start by getting our mile back on side. No chance, you should know that. Whoever went crawling would lose much too much face. I want to know why he wants that land. Another 24 hours and I could have squeezed it out of his little sister. Maybe, maybe. But as far as our mile's concerned, all we can do is cut our losses. Look, I've got to go back to the office. Will I see you later? Perhaps. You know, Armand doesn't blame me for what happened. I might be able to change his mind. I can be very persuasive. <laughs> Armal might be immune to your particular brand of persuasion. <laughs> He'll be the first.